Consider the function f of x is arc cosine of x. Question 8 sketch the graph of y is f of x. How to plot a graph of arc cosine? Arc cosine is the inverse function of cosine. So let's consider the graph of cosine firstly. It looks like this. It passes through 0, 1. When x is pi over 2, y is 0. When x is pi, y is negative 1. And the inverse to exist, a function must be 1 to 1. So we consider only this. We take only this part of a graph of cosine. And we remember uh, that for a function and uh, its uh, inverse, x and y interchange each other. So if you consider x axis to be y, y to be x, and you can see that uh, it's the required graph of the inverse, where in this direction is x axis, in this direction it's y axis, or uh, 0, 1 becomes 1, 0, pi over 2 becomes 0, pi over 2, and pi negative 1 becomes negative 1 pi. So the required graph looks like this. It's 1, 0, 0, pi over 2, so that uh, y-intercept is pi over 2, and this point it's negative 1 and pi. The next question we solve our cosine of x plus our cosine of x times root of 3 is uh, 3 pi over 2. I want to apply cosine on both sides. Why? Uh, because I will want uh, uh, to get uh, cosine of arc cosine of x, which is just x, uh, so that it can be simplified, or it may be applied uh, sine on both sides. So it becomes cosine of arc cos of x plus arc cos of x times root of 3 is cosine of 3 pi over 2. And cosine of sum formulas given in, in the data booklet it becomes uh, cosine times cosine so it becomes cosine of arc cosine of x multiplied by cosine of arc cosine of x times root of 3 minus sine of arc cosine of x multiplied by sine of arc cosine of x times root of 3 and it is equal to cosine of 3 pi over 2 it's 0 just the unit circle at this point 3 um, pi over 2 or 270 degrees uh, cosine x coordinate uh, so it's uh, 0 and cosine of arc cosine is function of the inverse of its inverse and it's uh, actually the definition of the inverse function is just argument x or inverse of uh, uh, function is also x. So it becomes just x multiplied by x uh, times root of 3, so it becomes root of 3 times x squared minus sine of arc cosine of x, and it's not necessary, but to be more clear, I want to rewrite as sine of some angle theta multiplied by sine of some angle phi is 0, uh, and uh, theta is arc cos of x, and uh, just by definition of uh, uh, a cos or applying cosine on both sides, it becomes cosine of theta is x and phi is uh, arc cos of x times root of 3 and cosine of phi is x times root of 3. And we need sine for given cosine. You may apply uh, main trigonometric identity sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Or consider a right angle triangle for a given for some angle theta. Cosine, what is cosine? It's a ratio adjacent to hypotenuse and it should be x. So we can choose x and 1. So that ratio is uh, uh, x as required. Then uh, we need to find uh, the third uh, length, just the Pythagoras theorem, it's square root of 1 minus x squared. But finally, finally, 
we should put additionally a plus or minus in front for a given trigonometric function. And also, if you use uh, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, sine is in general plus minus the square root. And, and you can see that its argument uh, theta is a cosine of x. And it doesn't matter what the value of x is, you can see that the range of r cosine is from 0 to pi, and sine of uh, uh, sine uh, for the angles uh, from 0 to pi it's positive so it's plus and uh, the same for phi so it becomes and uh, for this it's uh, x root of 3 1 so it's plus root uh, of 1 minus 3 x squared or again the main trigonometric identity so it becomes root of 3 times x squared minus square root of 1 minus x squared multiplied by square root of 1 minus 3 times x squared is 0. This to the right. And let's square both sides. to get 3x to the power of 4 is 1 minus x squared times uh, 1 minus 3x squared. Let's expand. 1 minus uh, 1x squared minus 3x squared, so minus 4x squared and plus 3x to the power of 4. And you can see that uh, 3 times x to the power of 4 cancels and we get uh, uh, 1 minus 4x squared is uh, 0, so x squared is 1 over 4. And in general, uh, possible solutions uh, are plus minus a half. And first of all, let's consider given uh, region, so x must be from negative 1 over root of 3 to plus 1 over root of 3 and possible solutions are plus minus a half and plus minus a half uh, um, are what uh, plus minus 1 over root of 4 and for plus root of 4 is greater than root of 3 uh, and the uh, fraction will be less than positive so it's somewhere here and and minus it's uh, greater by absolute value but negative so it's also somewhere here and question is plus minus are solutions or maybe not there is a small nuance when you square both sides, extraneous solutions may arise which are not true roots, which are not uh, actual uh, uh, solutions, and uh, we need check. And what uh, check what the initial, the first equation, this equation, we should check plus uh, and uh, minus a half, it doesn't matter that both uh, lie uh, in uh, this region and let's consider plus half which is uh, 0 0.5 and uh, root of 3 it's uh, 0 0.8 uh, roughly and the half it's uh, uh, 0.85 or something like that so uh, and uh, let's use uh, this graph so our cosine of 0.5 it's somewhere here and uh, our cos of 0.85 it's somewhere here and pi over 2 it's uh, roughly 1.5 or uh, uh, 5.7 and we need the sum to be 3 pi over 2 and uh, it's uh, about 4.7 or something like that and you can see that 
the sum of two values which are less than 1.5 can definitely cannot be 4.7 and this uh, uh, plus a half is not a true root it's not a solution it's extraneous uh, solution which is not true root and for negative a half you can see that it's somewhere here and somewhere here and uh, it uh, seems to be true that it's uh, four point it, it cannot it can be uh, 4.7 because close to 3 and it's uh, close to 2 something like that yes yeah, so there is only one solution negative half and remember if you <coughs> Square both sides, you should check the initial equation. So there is only one solution, negative a half. And that's all for this question.